biggest private islands owned by the billionaires around the world. Hello guys, welcome back to our channel Limitless Luxury. The biggest private islands are so insane and there are some of them that billionaires own. So without further ado, let's dive into today's video to know some of the biggest private islands ever owned. First is the New Holland Island, owned by Roman Abramovich. The freshly constructed Krukow and Admiralty canals joined the Moika and Neva rivers when the island was created in 1719. The Triangle Island was built in response to a need for numerous waterways and shipbuilding facilities that resembled Amsterdam's. The island was erected for the purpose of storing timber. Peter the Great had the chance to construct a naval port for his personal use, complete with a wooden mansion. It became the country's first army post in 1721. Roman Abramovich, a Russian billionaire, paid $400 million for New Holland Island, a decommissioned military base on the St. Petersburg Canal. He intends to transform the island into a cultural hub. Abramovich accepted the opportunity to oversee the island, an ultra-modern example of Abramovich's luxury shopping. According to the newly constituted organization, architects are invited to compete for a contract to rebuild an 18-hectare island that will last roughly six years. The building of the canal in the 18th century benefited New Holland Island, which resembles the Amsterdam area. Next is the Scorpios Island, owned by Giorgio Armani. The island is 83.2 hectares in size and has an irregular form with a central axis of around 1,500 meters and a secondary axis of about 1,000 meters. There are jungles from south to north and Aristotle Onassis introduced more than 200 types of wood onto the mostly barren island. There are various sandy beaches, but the most striking is East Beach, which Onassis built with sand from Salamis Island. There are several buildings, heliports, and ship piers on the island. Onassis also erected a port center for the Christina O boat in the northern bay. The water on the island originates from the neighboring island's mountains, which are worth an estimated 100 million euros. Giorgio Armani offered $190 million for Scorpio, one of the most beautiful islands in the world. Scorpio, which is located on the Ionian Sea off the west coast of Greece, was the wealthy figure of Aristotle Onassis's wedding website. The Pink House, a lush hotel with tennis courts and beautiful gardens, is situated on the island. Atina Onassis Roussel, Onassis's granddaughter, bought it in Armani. Robin Abramovich, Bill Gates, Madonna and other significant names have been in the running for the land, but Armani beat them all. Third, we have the Little Halls Pond Key owned by Johnny Depp. Johnny Depp, together with his mentor and Hollywood's godfather Marlon Brando, owns a 45-acre tropical paradise named Little Halls Pond Key. Definitely his favorite vacation place and his top priority when it comes to spending quality time with his family. Whenever I was a little boy and became irritated with creating a movie, I calmly told myself, he said regarding tropical places, I can get off here and out of here right now. Depp is said to have first seen his prized island while filming Pirates of the Caribbean in 2003 and bought it for $3.6 million in 2004. Despite a lack of infrastructure at first, the actor finally constructed a ranch fashion house with amazing 360-degree vistas. Greetings from the island! According to Vanity Fair, Depp also lost almost $8 million on a boat headed to his island. A ship named Vallola Roja was acquired, but maintenance cost $300,000 to $400,000 per month and required eight group contributors. Fourth is James Island, owned by Craig McCaw. Craig McCaw, the founder of Wi-Fi, offered the 342-acre island for $19 million in 1994. He was recently granted clearance for a real estate development that would include 80 apartments, a 5,000-square-foot retail store, and a 35,000-square-foot commercial area. McClough, on the other hand, is quick to point out that the country's high level of urbanization has little effect on the value of herbs today. He follows a stringent environmental policy that prioritizes all natural farming in the field. Furthermore, all energy trunks are underground, and transportation is provided by electric automobiles and golf carts. Craig rummages through his wallet to ensure that the island is one of the most advanced, but he is oblivious to the importance of the surrounding region. Finally, we have the Rooster Key, owned by Eddie Murphy. Rooster Key is a fun spot to visit, and I've been there five to six times in the previous four years. On Cable Beach, Rooster Key lies 3.2 kilometers east of the timeshare West Wind 2 Club, we began coming there simply to mix things up. He recruited a botson from the area, either G-Man or Sam, to take him to the island. The cost of the round journey is $10. 
Eddie Murphy, the star of Fanny Man, is well known for his versatility behind the camera and is one of Hollywood's highest paid actors. Because of its reputation and closeness to Nassau, Bahamas, the island is acquired in 2007 and is worth $15 million to actors. The island isn't well planned now, but many think it's ideal for lodge improvements and activities, similar to the nearby Paradise Island, which is famed for its travel centers. Murphy is not a newbie to the island's buyer's club, but he does possess the Bahamas island of Parle, which is known as Parle on all other islands, a little area where the lighthouse after Paradise Island became a fitting lighthouse. So, these were the biggest private islands owned by billionaires. Among these, which one would you like to visit? Let us know in the comments below!